set time to be holy. Speak of with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt soon be fitted for service aboard. Rain over your life is the one raining over your home, your marriage, your life, your situation. If you have handed over your life to the Lord, you know that God, you are the one ruling me, you are the one guiding me, you are the one reigning. God, we worship you. Join me as we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, you reign forevermore. We worship you, Lord. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. You are worthy to be praised. God, we thank you. Come and reign in our heart, O oh Lord. Come and reign in this program, O oh Lord. Jesus, come and take your place, O oh Lord. We welcome the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The I am that I am. Who can battle with the Lord? The great Jehovah at the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee must bow. Father, come and take over, Lord. We hand over this service to you. We cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Jesus, oh Lord. Father, let your presence reign, oh Lord. Let the angels of God take all over this place, oh Lord. All your children looking at me, hearing me, Father, Lord, wherever they are in different parts of this world. Lord, I hand them over to you because you are God. You are not a man, oh Lord. The art is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Oh Lord Jesus, take over them in Europe. Take over them in every part in the Europe they are staying. Lord, as they are keying into this service. Oh God, I pray let your eyes look down upon them. Jesus, let your angels visit their homes. Let your angel visit them wherever they are, oh God. Lord, I pray that God, you will touch their heart. Open their heart to hear your word, oh Lord. Jesus, come and reign in our midst, oh Lord. Father, come and speak to your children, oh Lord, because the word said that your sheep hear your voice and they follow you Lord not my voice but Lord your voice oh Lord and these are your children that you have died for oh Lord Father you are their savior Lord come and speak to them oh Lord let my voice be in you oh Lord let me hide in you Jesus oh Lord Father speak to me to your people speak to me to your children oh Lord let them believe and let them accept and let them amend their ways oh Lord because your coming is at hand, at hand oh God help us not to miss you Jesus help us not to die and miss heaven oh God Lord we give you praise, we give you glory, O oh Lord. I take authority of all our principalities and power. Every manipulation that will be going on in the internet, whatever I will be saying, any evil, any witch, any wizard, physical witch, spiritual witches, demons, Satan and his agent, wherever they are angry, Lord, releasing spell over your children, not to take your word serious, not to surrender, not to confess their sin, not to make them to accept you, Lord. I destroy all the powers of the enemy, all the powers of dark world, all the powers of witches and wizards, Holy Spirit, let the power of Jesus arrest them, O oh Lord. I cover the world with the blood of Jesus. I cover the hearers with the blood of Jesus. I destroy every distraction around them. I arrest every distraction around them. I destroy every satanic power manipulating them. I arrest them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I destroy all the manipulation of the devil. Let this place be pure. Let this place be cleansed with the blood of Jesus, O oh Lord. Ancient of this, come and take control. Let your name be glorified. After the service, I pray. 
many eyes will be opened. The scales of sin, the scales of, of, of ignorance will be removed from their eyes. And Lord, they will know what it means to be a Christian. Thank you, Father, for what you are going to do. Thank you for the new names that are going to be written in the book of life. Thank you for those that are going to recover themselves again. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Thank you for releasing it upon us already. Jesus, I love you. I bless you. I give you great honor. I honor you. I respect you. I fear you. Thank you for using me this evening. I pray that Lord speak to your children. I hand over the service to you. I hand over the message to you. Take over my body, Lord. Speak to them and let them hear your voice. Thank you for everything. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you all as you hear the word of God in Jesus' name. Today I'm going to speak to you on the topic say God needs you more than your service. God needs you more than your service. Hallelujah. All of us are working for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in one way or the other in different departments. God has given us different gifts to work in his vineyard. But there's some danger that we are doing. We don't know. There are many things that people are doing they don't know. Many Christians are working, making a big mistakes in their life today. Their Christian life is full of service in the vineyard of God. Many people, many Christians out there in Oremo are making a big mistake by giving their Christian life in full-time service and abandoning their personal life with Christ. But I want to tell you today, our Father in the Lord has preached a message that said there is difference between anointing and holiness. Anointing is part of service, is gift, gift of singing, gift of praying, gift of building the house of God, gift of support, all one thing or the other. These are all service, services rendering to the Lord as our God and our Father. But one thing that will take you to heaven is your holy life. But many Christians today, you and I know that in the world today, there are many people that are giving their time to service in the house of God more than their personal relationship with God. And many that have died today, they are shocked to see themselves in hell because they thought that it is by their works that will take them to heaven. It's talk that it's by their service. So we don't want you to be ignorant of that because just a few weeks ago, the Lord told us about a revelation that what I need from a man is his relationship with me. But many Christians have been deceived by their service. So today I'm going to talk to you that uh, God needs you more than your service. I don't want you to be deceived because many have been deceived. G Satan has deceived many. Making people to think that it's what they are doing in the house of God that will take them to heaven. Some people have been relented by their, 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 by their commitment to God. They have been carried by their service. And many are coming up in that kind of way. Our, even our children are following many Christians, their family members, their footsteps. By giving service to God than their relationship with God. Many today, they have been deceived by works, not life in Christ. You walk too much in the house of God. Very good. When they call you to lead prayer, you can lead very well. You can sing very well. Message is going on. You don't have time. You are in the kitchen. You are the one running up and down. You are the woman leader. You don't have time to do your assignment. You don't have time to pray. You are busy doing one thing or the other. You are busy taking about the house. How can the women eat? What is going to happen now? Many, many things. Many pastors have missed the house of Miss Heaven because they follow the service. They key into the service more than their spiritual life. There is a message I listened to when Daddy Kumui preached. He was advising younger pastors that when, he, when the ministry of deeper life was growing, he was not having time for people. He All the time he had personal time with God to check his life. But he reached to a point when the ministry grew very big. He now decided to care about the spirits of the, the souls of the members, the welfare of the members, the well-being of the member. And it take him time, sometimes it would take him some time, as he said in that message, if I can remember, for him to check his spiritual life. So before he came to his notice, he had gone far. His life was too much on service, activities, 
of how the member, the membership, the, how, how they should maintain the membership, how they should win souls, how how should keep the people going, all these things, and he forget that he too is part of going to heaven. So he was advising younger brethren and younger pastors that are listening to the message. Many Christians today, they have been deceived by their achievement in the vineyard of God. Maybe you are there, you have been deceived by your achievement. Oh, in Europe today, I'm a sister that most of the sisters you are seeing, I'm the one that brought them to the Lord, I'm the one that preached to them. Yes, that is achievement. Oh, we are the ones sponsoring the house of God. I've built a church in my village. I've even sent money to Orimo. I've sent money to Dadereka, sent money to my coordinator to do crusade in my account in my in my village. Oh, that's very lovely. You have won many souls for God. You have won souls for God. Everybody in your village is thanking God for you. But I want you to know that don't be deceived by that and then relent on your spiritual life. Because you'll be shocked. That if you die, it, that service is not the one that will take you to heaven. The service is a reward. When you make heaven, God will reward you for your service. Oh, you work well in my vineyard. I will reward you with a mansion. I will reward you with a crown. But what takes you to heaven is your holy life. It's your personal relationship with Jesus. It's how you are living your holy life. The Bible says, Jesus said, He that love me, keep my commandments. It also says, He that love me, walk very hard in my vineyard. You keep the commandment of God. You make sure that your life, you are not only a preacher, you are a doer. You do what the Bible says. You practice it. You live in it. You wake up and sleep in it. Your attitude, your behavior should be pattern in the Bible way. Let others see Jesus in you. They should not see Jesus in your word. That, oh, this person knows how to preach very well. Oh, this sister, oh, this mommy. Oh, she knows how to evangelize. Oh, she knows how to win souls. Oh, when they want to go out to win souls, or they have a stubborn sister or a brother that wants to give his or her life to Christ, they say, let's call mommy this. Let's call sister this. Ah, this person, God bless her mouth. That when he preach to anybody, the person will come to Christ. And you have been deceived by that. Say, how will I do all these things for God? And then you will tell me that God will cast me to hell. That is many of the problems today we have today in the churches. That when I have my encounter, some pastors were telling me about Winner's Chapel that, ah, how can Sister Linda say Winner's Chapel, uh, pastor is not in the way of God. God don't know he will go to hell. Hey, before, the, you, before you were born, do you know how many people this man have brought to Christ? Do you know what all the poor have done? How can you say our papa will go to hell? Do you know how many people have come to know Christ through Bishop Oedipo? Uh, Oedipo? Everybody is saying their own. This is the Christianity today. We have been deceived by service. They are not checking your life. Maybe you are there. You have been carried away by service. You are too busy in the house of God. Even they have known you that ah, if you want somebody to go to the market now to prepare for the program, ah, call sister this. Oh, if you want somebody that that woman, she don't even care if her husband is there. She's always 24 hours. Anytime you call her, this sister is committed to the house of God. My sister is a very good attitude, very good behavior. But as you are doing this service, do you have time to seek the face of God? Have you checked the time you pray? How long have you been before the Lord for more than two hours, three hours? When last did you go for retreats? You close yourself in a house, you don't see the sun, you are only with the Lord in the room. How conversant are you with the Bible, with the scripture? Is it only when they say assignment you begin to study the Bible? Have you been taking time to read the Bible on your own? But when you ask, you say, ah, I am too busy. God understand. I want to tell you God don't understand that language. Many Christians today have been deceived by their gifts for service. You sing very well in the choir. You like anything they say, program, you I will be in the choir. I will be in the choir. You are always giving time to the choir. Because you know how to sing, you sing, the Holy Spirit will come down, people are blessing you. Oh, my sister know how to charge this crowd. And that have entered your head, that you don't have time to seek the face of God. All you have time for is to sit down, be writing songs, singing, singing. In your house, you, you be playing music, you sing music more than your prayer. The Lord shall, shall come and tell you that many have been deceived by their service. And he said, I should tell you, he needs you more than your service. 
He wants you to spend more time with him, more than your service. He will need you more than your service. Some of you is cooking. Ah, my department is cooking. Any program, even that Erika is leaving Nigeria to come to Europe, to come and hold conference of three days, you will force yourself in the kitchen. You will like to be in the kitchen. And when you are there, you and I know that you cannot get the perfect word. Fully. And some of you will say, after the program, when I go, I'm going to do retreat. I'm going to sit and listen to all the message. Are you sure? You don't do it. You are too busy. You are too busy. You can't do it. After program, everything finish. You hear people are laughing. You say, what is happening inside the church? What is, why are they laughing? You know, we are in the kitchen now. We are in the kitchen now. When you people are in the kitchen, you don't take time to hear the word of God. You talk, you gist. You say, God, call me to cook. Everybody asks, sister, this is not to cook. Every program, they will bring you. And you will be deceived. You don't have time. After the program, you go back. You are tired. You are exhausted. You are sleeping. Is that how you want to live your Christian life? You think it's by that you will go to heaven? God, you know I've been cooking for your saints. God, you know I've been the one in the kitchen. Oh, God, we have not seen that in the Bible that uh, matter make heaven because of cooking. We have not seen that too. I've not seen any woman in the Bible God carried to heaven because she can sing very well. It was their holy life. They believe in God and they work out their salvation with fear and trembling. If you are playing with your salvation, you are not working it out in your daily life, your personal relationship with God, all these things you are doing, singing and praising, you have been known as a remote member. Everybody knows you, you dress very well, you are very committed, you are a giver, you are a, you are a pillar, I will say like that. But it will shock you that when you die, you will not make heaven. It will shock you that when you die, you will not make heaven. Because you have been deceived by your service. By your service. Many Christians, many believers, they have been deceived by position for service in the house of God. Your position has made you, those days when you were nothing in the house of God, you are not a normal member, a normal sister. You fast, you pray, you seek the face of God, you hear from God. But since they made you woman leader, since they made you a secretary, since they made you chapter women leader, since they made you what, 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 treasurer, or any app appointment they have been given in the church, that appointment has made you too busy. That even you now know, sometimes you used to say, ha, those days I used to hear God frequently, but now it's taking time, I'm not hearing from God. I have to pray, I have to pray. Busy life. Busy life. You don't have time. The Holy Spirit is departing from you. You are too busy with the work of God. You are too busy checking other people's souls, but you are not watchful over your soul. You are watching other people's vineyard, and your own vineyard is dirty. You are leaving your house to go and clean member's house where you have not swept your own house in the morning. Early morning, oh, sister, this is in the hospital. We need to run there to go. Early morning, everybody, tomorrow we should be in mommy this place. Next tomorrow we are going there. Pastor said we should be there. Day. You are gathering yourself. You leave early in the morning to go there. You don't have time to pray. You cannot say, okay, if they say by six, all of us should gather in pastor this house, in, in brother this place, or sister this place. If we are going to gather by 6 in the morning a.m., I need to get out by 4 to pray. Pray after my one-hour prayer, and then I will bait, address, and then go. But some of you, oh God, you know they say 6 o'clock, you know it's very early, I will not have time to do my devotion again. I'm all, and this is how you are getting dry spiritually. Your spirit soul is dry, it's lean. You see yourself physically, you are getting fat, you are looking fresh. People are saying, ah, my sister, you look fresh. Ah, this, this holiness fits you. But your spirit, your soul is dry. And you think the soul, what the soul eats is spiritual food. You are not giving him spiritual food. So today, my sisters, I want you to learn from different scriptures. We are going to read here today. To tell you that God obey. He will bless those that obey his word. Those that keep his commandment, him and the father, Jesus said, I and my father, we are born in those people's house that obey me, that keep my commandment. Not those that are killing themselves in the service or whatever thing. Peter, do you love me? Say yes, Lord. Peter, do you love me? Yes, I love you. They take over the ship. 
do my service, do what I call you for, leave, leave all this going to fishing. Take over, seek my face, let me give you wisdom, how to go and win souls. The devil has planned to save you by deceiving you. Because you have seen Jesus, if you don't have time to watch and pray, the devil will save you. Many Christians today have been deceived by position, as I say. Many leaders today running up and down as a leader. Conference is coming. Program is coming. Unit leader, chapter leader. Oh, you are running up and down. Two for your own phone, counseling people. The pastor phone is not resting. The woman leader phone is not resting. The chapter woman leader phone is not resting. The phone is ringing. It's very good what you are doing. But my sister, time to switch off that phone, switch it off. My pastor, my unit leader, women leader, women that are hearing me, those that have the mind for heaven, heaven-minded women that are hearing me here. If you are too busy, even with your job, find time to fill your spiritual life. Put God first. Let your activity with God be solid than your service. Let your personal relationship with Jesus be solid than your personal relationship with your pastor, with your sister in the Lord, with anything you are doing. Let your personal relationship be more solid than service. Be more solid. There are some people that are good in support, giving the house of God. Oh, December conference is coming. They will send money. Praise the Lord. God love a cheerful giver. Some people are good in that. But I want to tell you, it is not about only your giving. God wants you more than your giving. Because he's not a poor God. What you are giving is service, is support. It's a gratitude. You are appreciating God. God, thank you for saving me. You're supposed to do it. In this revelation that the Lord gave me about one week ago, he was telling us that giving winning souls for me, helping the work of God, he made an example to me that when you have given back to a child, you have trained that child to reach to an adulthood, working and he's doing his well, now he has finished his education, now he's working, he's earning, and that child is supposed to take care of his parent. It is not that he's under duress to say, hey, daddy, I've taken care of you for just one year, please, I have to stay my own. No, the whole world will know that she's a wicked girl, he's a wicked boy, he abandoned his parent. Why? The parents have took care of him when he was a child, train him in the school, feed him, pray for him, guide him, watch over him. Now he has grown up to help the parents. He's not doing it. So Jesus told us that he died for us. He created us. He is our Lord and Savior. He has saved us from destruction because now he has shown us the truth. We should appreciate it with service. What you are doing is appreciation to God. God, thank you for saving me. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you, Lord. I give you this as, your, as, as a, as a blessing. You are taking care of God in the sense of this is my heavenly father. If I can take care of my earthly father for all the good things they have done for me when I was a baby, I'm doing it. Ah, they are my parents. God is our father. He's our parent. He's our everything. So don't be deceived by your service. And God, you know I build a church for you. God, you know I, I want many souls for you. God, you know I'm the one that carried the gospel to my village. Why now I'm, I'm, I'm standing before judgment? I've died now. Why are you not giving me heaven? God, why? God, why? You were building church, but you were a smoker. You were building church. The money you were using is corrupt money. You were building church. You were preaching to sinners. Come out of sin. Don't have anger. Don't lie. But you, you the, you the preacher. You the, 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 the person that is carrying the good news to the people. You have all this bad attitude in you. And you have been deceived. That, ha! In my crusade, in my village, they say people, 1,000 people gave their life to Christ. God is happy with me. Yes, he's happy with me. He's happy with you. But I want to tell you, the Lord is just looking at you and shaking it. That secret sin that you are holding on to, you are walking in vain. Because those ones you have won to Christ, some will go to heaven, and then you will go to hell. How many of them will remain in the Lord if you have been deceived by, oh, many souls gave their life to Christ? How many of them stand? How many of them continue? 
So don't be deceived by your service. Wake up to the reality. It's you and God, your relationship, your holy life, your commitment in the sense of obeying the things of God. Being a child of God, keep the commandment, is what that will take you to heaven. All these pastors that know to preach that these signs and wonders do all this kind of thing. If they don't live the holy life, no heaven for them. Some, they are the one going to the Muslims. Change them. I was watching over Facebook. I see, I saw Equa Church going to the Muslim place. We need souls. I saw some Reverend Father, some Catholic. Even we in, our, in our country those days, the, the people that brought Christianity to us are Reverend Sisters, are Catholic. But today you and I eyes have opened that all their services in vain. But many Catholic people have been deceived. Say, what do you mean? Catholic is the first church. Do you know all, how, many war, how many countries have come to know Christ through Catholic? Yes, they have done it. God allowed them to do it. But heaven, they will not have it. So don't waste, your, don't waste your life. My holy brother and sisters in the Lord, don't waste your life, your energy only in service. You are too busy. Where is brother this? He's edited. Where is sister this? He's out for this work. Where is this? He's doing this work. He's editing book. He's preaching. He's going there. He's, he's answering for. He's counseling. Very good. Very nice. Oh, where is this sister? You know this sister? She's in charge of kitchen. She's in charge of choir. They are very busy now. They have gone out for this. They have gone out for this. It's very good. But your spiritual life is dry. Your spiritual life is dry. Your spiritual life is dry. See what God said to to, to Martha in Luke chapter 10. Martha was serving God, was serving Jesus was preaching. Martha was there. What he's doing is very good. Jesus will have said, Ah, Martha, you are doing very good work. Hey, you are serving people in my presence. Oh, this woman is doing very good. But see what Jesus said to Martha. To tell you that what God cherishes is, is, is your personal life. Seek God. Have time for Him. Treasure His presence. Some of you, program will be going there. You don't have time for God. To add the program, you will not sit and finish one message. Amen. So let's look at the book of Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10, from verse 38 to 42. Luke chapter 10. He said, now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. What a privilege for Martha for Jesus to come into her house. For her to take the privilege. It's just like now you say, oh, uh, uh, our pastor, Pastor Bright in, uh, in Europe, don't go to people visiting people play. But today he decided to come and do dinner in my house. Let me tap into the anointing. Will you be allowing Pastor Bright to be teaching your neighbor and you, you are busy cooking this? And no, this man is coming once in a while. Let him come and release the blessing here. Oh, that the Deca is coming. Ah, me, I must have time to sit down here. We have been doing all this work up and down. So, matter was concerned about let me prepare for the lord let me yes what he, she was thinking about it's a good thing it's, it's a right thing <laughs> but see what god said and she had a sister called mary which also sat at jesus feet and had his word but Martha was combat about much service serving and came to him and said lord does that not care that my sister have left me to serve alone bid her Therefore, that she helped me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful, are troubled, thou art careful and troubled about many things. You are careful and troubled about many things. Many things. Your heart, what you're supposed to be thinking about. Have I prayed today? Have I read my Bible today? As a Christian, I don't even know many scriptures. I need to study. I need to study the word of God as if I'm going for an exam. Have I seek the face of God? I've, I mean, in this year, throughout from January to December, we are ending now 2021. Can you count how many times you have fast? You have gone before the Lord. You have fasted. Oh, God. In this year, I fasted more than maybe more than 20 or 30 times. No, some people, they can count maybe not three times. You don't have time. Job. Finding the hero, the pounds. You are too busy. You are too busy. Assignment is finishing December. 
How many of you, from the time they started assignment, maybe it's only one time you have received prize? You are too busy. You are not even bothered again. Ah, we are not in Abuja and they don't used to see us. Pastor Bright is coming, he's going, he's not carrying books to say, I have women names here. Maybe he's only carrying few. You, your name have never been among his people that he's coming to collect book for, prize for. Your mind is full of many things. Many things. You are thinking of building a house in your village. You are thinking of going back to Africa. So you want to be shipping container. You want to be doing this. My sister, I want to tell you, the Bible says man is like a grass. Man is like a grass. When I came across that scripture, I've been saying it in most of this, my preaching. It pains me. I say, hey, man is like a grass. That you will flourish during the rainy season. Everybody say, wow. Some of you have it there in Europe. During winter or summer, the flower will grow very well. During uh, summer time like this, you will see the, the tree, they get dry. I don't know. But yeah, during rainy season, you see the flowers. Wow, very nice. But when dry season, you will pass on that road and say, ah, did they cut the grass? Did they uproot these flowers? They say, no, all of them have wither. You are now in the rainy season of your life. The grace, the mercy of God. You don't know when your dry season will come, when death will come, when rapture will come. And you don't have time to water your life with the word of God, with the understanding of the scripture. By facing that challenges in your life, God anger must go. God lying must go. God fear must go. You don't have time to even pray against those foxes in your life. But you are busy deceiving yourself by services. I've prayed now this anger. I've prayed now. I don't know fear is still there. I pray this anger, little thing. I'm very. I pray now. My, and I, 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 impatience is still there. God understand. That's why I'm busy killing myself with the work of God. I want to tell you, service cannot take away that foxes in your life. It's commitment to God. Word. And verse forty two say, but one thing, one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen that God, that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Service can be taken away from you. You can be a woman leader today. Tomorrow, the Lord will say, remove her. You can be the one singing in the choir. Everybody say, when this sister sang, ah, no. But tomorrow, the Lord will talk to the man of God and say, change her. I'm not looking for service. I'm looking for life. She's singing well, but go to her house. She cannot obey her husband. She, she disrespects her husband. Her children fear her. She's full of anger. Go and check her. Go and check. She has compromised many things for my standard. She has compromised many things. As you see her like this, she sings very well, but she has attitude problem. She, she don't take counsel. So service can be taken away from you. But one good thing that Mary have chosen is to sit under the feet of Christ, to feed her spirit life, to receive, because very soon Jesus will go. Jesus will depart. Jesus will go. My, Mary want to know, want to know how to, how to win souls. God, let me sit and hear Jesus, so that when he will not be here, I can preach well for Jesus. I can tell people, I can, even if the world says Jesus is not Lord, me, I, want, I will believe Jesus for myself. I will take Jesus for myself. That's what Mary was desiring. Not the food Martha was cooking. Martha don't know that Jesus is going. He thought that Jesus is going to stay there forever. For her to sit down and pick that when Jesus will have gone, die and gone, he will say, but the Lord said this. The Lord said should watch out for this. The Lord said very soon something like this will happen. The Lord said, the Lord said. That's why I see many of you in Henry Moore. Little concerned brethren, backsliders, where they are covering their secrecy because we cannot open their sin. When they talk, you follow them. You don't have time. You don't spend time before God. God, do not allow me to be deceived. You said in your word, at the end time, there are false apostles that will arrive. Many will say, I, I, Lord, Lord, but I didn't send them. So they all this concern, everybody have church. Everybody is a pastor. And you are believing them. They say this. The one I went and here in Ghana, they lie and say that uh, me and daddy went to a hotel. And then I smuggle myself from the hotel, enter in another room, go and sleep with another man. And some of you people are believing it. Because you are babes. You don't have designing spirits. You cannot pray to have designing spirits. Anybody can carry you. Maybe tomorrow, even in Europe, a sister will live all more. And he carry you. You don't follow. Ah, if this sister too have left her, the momentum will follow. Matter. 
will have if Martha did not see God now, this kind of thing will happen to her because she did not sit down to hear the mystery of God. What will happen? But Mary chose to sit down and say, I want to hear. I want to hear. When Jesus was talking to his disciple, Judas left and went and corrupted himself. He left Jesus' teaching. The Bible recorded it. Jesus said, the person that is here dipping soap with me and this and this is here, the one who betray me. After some time, the Bible recorded he left and go and me, and the devil enter him and left. Some of you, the time of God is going on, preaching is going on, you'll be turning off camera and be sleeping. You cannot be walking up and down. They say, now we have conference, December conference is coming. You are not making plans to be on the Zoom to hear. I cannot miss it. But you say, I, I, when pastor is coming, he's bringing it, I will go back to the internet to get the message. And as you are listening to the message, you are sleeping. 30 minutes of the message, you sleep. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, hey, what did daddy say? Maybe it's the shout when daddy is shouting. Hallelujah, you wake up. Amen, you are finished. Satan has finished you. Busy life. I've carried you. You don't have time for the world. You don't have time. You don't seek the feet of God. You don't love the presence of God. Some people, they give their tithe and offering. We have members in Orima. We only know them by supporting. They only give. They don't have time to come for Zoom meeting, Bible study, prayer. They don't have time to do assignment. They don't have time to pray. They are very busy. Ah, hey, pastor, we are following you in the internet. Hey, they will send their contribution. You think God is a poor God? You are treating God like a man. Go and give them this feeding money. I will be coming later. Some of your husband did that, doing, doing like that. And daddy, we are going to the church. He said, take offering. But him is not coming. He's sitting at home watching football. This is how the Christians are doing today. And that man will be telling you that. You say, I'm not going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. My money is in the house of God. They are using my money to do the things of God. That is the reason many Christians in the world today are doing like that. Even me, I was doing that. Like that before. I told you in my, in my encounter. We will do all. Singing in the church. Clean the church. Buy gifts for pastor. Do this. All these things we are doing is very good. If you are doing them. I'm not saying what you are doing is bad. But back it up with what will increase your grade. That will push you to heaven. These are all percentages that teacher will say. Okay this will, we will give you for 10. We will give you for 15. But the one that carries 60 mark, 90 mark. Is your personal relationship with Jesus. All these services, giving to God, uh, service, clean the house of God, build the house of God. Yes, they are 20%, 40%, very good. But the main thing that Jesus is looking for, that when you are doing all these things, make sure that Jesus knows you. Make sure that Jesus loves you. Make sure that you have a communication with God so that you will not be deceived. When you have communication with God, when you hear from God, how can somebody hear from God? It's somebody that is always in the presence of God. Because when you seek his presence, he will make himself found to you. He says, seek and he shall find. But you don't seek God. You don't seek God. That's why little thing when Satan comes, you are afraid. Hey, what do you, hey, please, they should pray and seek the mind of God. Hey, what is God is saying? Why my life is like this? Are you different from the other person that is hearing from God? Did Jesus die specially for that person? Or there is different death? Only one day die on the cross for redemption. It is finished for everybody. So please... Because as you are giving your time to service, this is how you are dry. You will get dry. The, the, the disadvantage of, of giving more time to service. Some of these people, let me tell you, some Christians don't know the scriptures. They cannot quote a scripture, more than five, ten scripture off head. Before they can do it. Those that used to spend time with God, study the word of God, meditate on the word, seek the face of God. Before you think one month, two months, it's like they went to a theological school. They can quote scripture off head. They can preach very well. But when they started giving themselves to service, than, than personal relationship with God, check their life. Some of you know what I'm talking. Even you, shaking your head, and you, are, you know in your heart that what mommy is saying is true. Your spiritual life has reduced drastically. Some scripture you quote today, you don't know where they are in the Bible. They will call to a, a, a you are not conversant with the scripture's name. When they say turn to the book of Abako, you will turn to where Abako day. You have to go to the table of content before you begin to look for Abako. But people that have used to read the Bible, when they thought they know, 
where the book of Luke is, where the book of Habakkuk, where the book of Jeremiah, you will, because your fingers have been used to reading it. You know where it is. Some of you, that's why you don't preach in your, in your office. You don't preach with your family members. Because when they start to ask you, okay, mommy, you say we should not wear trousers. You say we should not wear earrings. You say we should, not wear, we should not put on perfume. Oh, yeah, where is it in the Bible now? You will not say, see, eh? They told us in all more that these things are sin sinful. But Melinda went to hell and come back and said this is sinful. That's what I'm telling you. You cannot defend your faith with your scripture. You are, you are hiding under Melinda. Hiding under the director. Hiding under your coordinator. Hiding under so, so, so. You cannot say, open your Bible. My husband, let's study Bible. By the time your husband see you turn one, two, three scripture, you are bringing the thing. Sometimes you are cooking. You are Look, Check the book of this. Read it for me. The people will know that mommy is not only talking, she knows what she's saying. God will be happy with you. You are filled with the world. That is why they say, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. It's not that physically Jesus will leave you to a command. It's the world that is in you. He's rich in you. When the devil comes, he cannot stand before you because as he's using the world to, pass, to, to oppress you, you are using the word in your heart that you are filled in your, in your spirit to rebuke the devil because that is the only word that sets our fear. When he came to deceive Jesus, the, he used the word to deceive, to, 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 to tempt Jesus. And Jesus used the word to overcome him. But you, Satan will come and say you will die. And you begin to cry. Hey, you don't know what, he will just be laughing at you. I was suffering like that in hell. Satan was quoting scripture for me. You have heard my testimony over and over. Satan was telling me, didn't the Bible tell you not to mark your body? How did I know? Did I read Bible those days? Did I know Bible? Didn't the Bible tell you not to carry arm foot in your mouth? Satan was mocking me. As a Christian, I don't know that. I didn't know that we should not drink alcohol. I know, but the power to stop it. Since pastors say, no, they say you should not take too much. But if I should have known the scriptures, I should have said, no, see it here. Oh, Bible says we should not mark our body. Oh, no, 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 no. We should not put on trousers. Oh, no. But I didn't know. And the pastors so that are teaching that novice, they don't know God. They don't spend time with God. They only go to theological school and not to three scripture and come and teach. That's why the danger today in Christianity is very much because many are being deceived by service. Their personal life is rotting. They don't have time with God. They don't know scripture. They cannot, they cannot quote scripture. They, cannot, they just open Bible and give you raw like that. They cannot meditate. What is God saying about this thing? So please... Don't be deceived by your service. Don't just sit there and say, hey, God know I have suffered in Europe. God know that in my, in my country. If I'm not the one, God know that. Eh, it's very good. Yes. You are the only sister going out for evangelism. You are the only sister calling. Sister, nobody is calling, but you used to call them. Very good. But don't give your time 100% to those services and you are forgetting your own spiritual life. Every time you call people, you cancel them very good. You pray for people very good. But have time to pray for yourself. Have time to seek God. God, is my life still in, the, in order? God, is my life in the book of life? Is my name in the book of life? Is my life in your hand? God, all this service I'm doing, am I doing well? God, because you'll be running and there's a spot on your body. Even now, we should not be tired of saying, God, please remind us about our past life. Any restitution. Because we, we are human beings. We, we are bound to forget. God never forget. He never sleep. Neither slumber. How will he forget? We will sleep. When you sleep, you wake up. You forget what happened yesterday. God, God don't sleep. So you see everything. So go to God and say, God, my past life, is there any restitution I need to do? Is there anything hanging on me? Because Satan, the accuser, is waiting for me. Hey, God, please. God, don't be, don't be carried away. I've been in the law for 10 years. I'm a holiness member. People don't. Always ask God. God, please help me. Please help me. Let God assure you. Let God assure you about your life. Yes, my daughter, you are pleasing me. Yes, I'm pleased with your work. Yes, your life is clean. Continue. I am with you. Do not be afraid. But you are just running. You are just running. Joseph and Mary, they went to, the, to, to Jerusalem. And they were working with Jesus. All of a sudden, they, whatever the two of them were talking and gisting, Jesus was not with them. Mama, Papa, you left your only son. What carry you? Service. Maybe they were watching, admiring what was happening. Since it was a program, hey, they are going to the temple. Hey, this, uh, you forget Jesus have left them. 
they went three days they are looking for jesus three days i this is your journey is jesus is, is with you this is your christian race this is your activity you are praying you are in group this some of you are in different ministry i used to see some people name in this group in that group in this group that's why you have different prof uh, pastors some of you that the is not only your daddy you have different pastors all over good for you if that is that is what you want you are sick if I, but are you busy hey this 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 group have prayer i'm coming there oh next week they invited me in this way i'm going there oh this our other group in ghana we have prayer. okay we are in uh, this other group in america hey there's another group of open in australia where well, those that want to make heaven hey there's another one they say power pack for heaven hey, you are all in those group every time you are in prayer group you are in this service you are in that service you are in deeper life you're in watchman you are in redeem all service all program every pastors you are there but all these things you are doing my sister are you sure your personal relationship your life is correct are you just a hearer because many people they like they hear that they come and say 100 but when you check their life when you live with them you will not say ah is it true that this person was hearing the word of god like one of our sisters that was with you people, you people know her. Sister Rachel, very good in hearing the word of God. Any message you call Sister Rachel, she will tell you, take this one. She have listened to it. She will publicize it. She will this. But see the way she's behaving today. <laughs> it's, a shock. it's a shock to all of us. Service, but no life. Jesus, they only know Jesus' name, but they don't have Jesus in their hearts. Because when you have Jesus, you will never be a rebel. You will never be a, a, a boko around to your to any Christian. You will not you will not hit your you will not hate anybody. You will not plan to scatter the work of God. You will not gang up to kill anybody. You will not gang up to, to castigate anybody. Because the Lord says, Vengeance is my zone, you that will fight for yourself. But many people, service, service. The word is not in them. Many, many cannot defend their faith by scripture. They cannot preach. They preach, they don't do the work. Because you don't spend time with God. You don't spend time with God. When you read this Bible, when you pray, even you, your senses will increase. Many things you don't know those days, you check your messages those days, so now you know that you know, this person has increased knowledge. Many are committing sin. They don't know of. How will you know you have not gone to God to pray? God, is my life okay? Am I treating my husband well? Why up to now my husband have not given his life to you? Am I doing something that is not right? But you, you don't want to know. Eh, I've preached to him. Eh, I've, I've told him. without If he don't join remote, he's on his own. Eh, me and God know I've said my own. But he cannot stop me. I'm going for a chapter meeting. I'm going for this. Very fine. But maybe there's a behavior. Maybe even when you are preaching to him, the tonation of your voice is hurting him. God is not able to. Maybe your prayer is not even passing the ceiling because you have not settled with God yet. Please. Your personal time should increase. Spend more time with God. Love the presence of God. Like being under the feet of Christ. Love the word of God. Take time to fill your spirit, soul, and body. Live activities 100%. Let your time with God increase. Personal relationship. Your personal relationship. Please, or else, if you don't have contact with Jesus, if you have that closeness with Jesus, if your friendship, your friendship would, your loving Wood, your your concern, your your friendship wood with Jesus is not solid. Hmm. Any wind will come and carry you. Every kind of wind will come and carry you because it's Jesus that will come and say, "No, don't move. Don't do this. I am here. Seek me." God, they say this is happening only more. God, they say you are here. They say Jesus have appeared in Jerusalem. Is it true I should join these people? You seek God. Don't just carry it away by people mere look. Please. Please. When you don't have personal relationship with God, you'll be committing sin you don't know. But your activities have carried it. 
You see yourself praying, you see yourself singing, you see people praising you, coordinator will be praising you. Ah, this sister is a best sister. Ah, this sister, since she joined remote, she have always been active, coming to service. Oh, this sister is very... But don't be carried away by that, my sister, my mothers. Please, check with God. Which report shall we believe? Is the report of the Lord, not the report of man praises. Check God. All my service, as I've been a woman leader, I've been a sister in the vineyard. I've been a worker. I've been a this. I've been a that. All these years, God is my name in the book of life. What am I lacking in my spirit life? Did I have time? Don't forget the Bible said Jesus is a jealous God. We serve a jealous God. If you give time to service, 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 you don't have time for him. He will just look you and say, Keep serve, go and be doing service, service, servicing man, servicing this. Clean the house of God. Very good. Yes, it's my house, but I need your time. It's just like women, we women, we used to tell our husbands, spend time with me. Now, every time you are there, you are there. Today, let it be our time. Let husband and wife sit at home talk. It's very good. Sometimes you turn off your husband's phone. Say, no, let's have our own time as husband and wife. And when your husband spend time with you or your wife spend time with you in the house, the husband will be very happy. Oh, today I'm seeing my wife. Two hours today she has not gone out. Oh, my husband, two hours today she he's happy. That is how God wants it. Oh, my daughter, two hours today has been before my presence. She has been calling me. She has been crying to me. She has been loving me, baiting me with love, baiting me with praises, baiting me with, with, with concern. Oh, I love this, my daughter. She loves me so much. That is it. Not when you have problem, you run to God. After the God solves the problem, you leave God and start doing another thing. God needs you more than your service. That is the topic. If you don't have personal relationship with God, you cannot pray more than 15 minutes. Because hmm, as you start praying, you will sleep. Satan has taken over you. You are too weak. Because after you finish working, you are tired. You are so tired. You can't pray. And the Bible has said prayer is the key. You don't have time to spend. You are not used to. You are not used to. Your body have not used to, to pray for long because you are not used to pray for long. Somebody that always spend time with the Lord, he will pray more than three hours. You have not started it. It's regular business. It's part of him. People that are around that they will, they will tell you that daddy like prayer. Even the coordinator sometimes they will say, hey, daddy can pray. As you see you like this, you start to let pray. Pray, yeah, pray. He just like it. He don't talk too much with people. You talk, talk, talk. After some time, he call his leader, let come and pray. We just finished prayer now. Call, just sit down, call workers. We just finished now. That way I, just, I left them. They finished around 5, 4.30 to 5. I told them that I have prayer with women, um, Europe women, this meeting. Why he just call her? Sometimes he would just call his leader. Don't you know, let come and spend time with talk before God. We used to talk with some leaders and say, Kai, this is your husband. Like, prayer. Daddy will call, just sit down, just to see them. He's happy seeing them, talking with them. After some time, they will pray, pray, pray. That is how you live your life. Prayer is the key. Love prayer. Don't allow your job to take your time of prayer. When you come back from job, you are too tired, you cannot pray. One month I've gone, you cannot pray. Come. Sit down like this and say, this month I've prayed more than four hours on my own. You have not. You are too busy. You are busy with job. Come back, you have to cook. Hey, God, God understands if I don't cook now. After you finish cooking, you have to eat. After I finish, hey, I have to check my mail. Oh, after this, hey, I have to call this sister. Hey, I want to know if these women that have done this assignment. Oh, you are just busy, busy, busy. Before you think, past 11, past 12. Hey, oh, Father Lord, tomorrow morning I can double it up. Before you think, one week I've gone, the same thing. Satan have closed you. Your personal relationship is dry. You have now occupied it with service. You come back, you call this one. Yes, I saw your missed call. What were you calling? Oh, my people in Nigeria, they have called me. What is happening in the house? You forget that. You say, when you come, you pray. Put off your phone, pray. After you pray, go back, to, go and gather your missed calls. But no, you'll be praying, phone is ringing. You want to answer all calls because it's service. 
every call. Hey, my office is calling me. Let, hey, you you pick up. And as you pick, this is how you forget that you have not under prayer. Okay, okay, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm coming. Oh, sister, I'm coming. I'm coming. Bro, sister, we need you now in the chapter. We need you now. We need money now. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Man. You abandon your prayer. And the prayer, you just started just 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the morning. And you now say, God, I will continue. When I come, I will continue my Bible reading. Let me just put where I stop. And when you come back in the evening, all that thing I've carried you. And you are very peaceful. You don't know that you are soul. You are damaging yourself. You don't know you are damaging yourself. Sit and like it. You'll be laughing. Tomorrow is planning another busy life for you again. You see phone? Some of you, phone service have carried you away. Two, four on phone. The time you spend on WhatsApp, YouTube, replying, checking this, doing that, chatting, laughing. If you check it, you have not prayed like that. You have not read, study your Bible like that. In the day, you check your phone more than eight times. You spend time on the phone more than eight hours. Some people will start checking phone 10. Where you open where you want? They say, hey, hey, I've not cooked. Hey, one o'clock, I've just gone like this. But when you are reading Bible, you'll be looking time. Reading Bible, looking, ah, I've studied for 30 minutes. It's okay now. You are doing yourself. You are doing yourself. Busy with service. And the relationship with God, you don't have time. You don't know how to pray again. Some people, they say, let's come and pray. They don't know how to pray again. Even the disciples said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Spend time with your teachers. You don't know how to pray again. Those days, you know how to pray. You know how to compose your word. The scripture was just flowing out of your mouth. But now, you are dry. You don't have to even quote scripture where you are praying. You are dry up. Even you, you are sitting and say, ah, those days, if I came to pray here, I'll be quoting scripture. I feel the presence of God when I used to pray. But now I don't know. I don't used to feel the presence of God again. But I know God is still with me. You are, you are guesting. This is not a guest work. Oh. You have to be sure that you are perfect. You have to be sure that God is with you. You have to be sure your name is in the book of life. By your, by your, by your holy life. Don't be that. I believe God is with me. I believe God with me. You are not praying. You are not feeling the presence of God. You say, I know God is with God. No, I have been busy with the house of God. I have been busy doing the work of God. And although I don't, I don't have time with God now, but God understands all this time is because of Him. My sister, Satan is just giving you words to excuse. Let's turn to the book of First Samuel and see with all what Samuel did, see what God said about him. First Samuel. Chapter 15. To tell you that God, <laughs> if you don't fear God, tomorrow you will stand before him. Many will say, God, I did this in your name. I did this in your name. I did this in your name. You say, yes. You are still workers of iniquity. Get that from for me. Depart from me. You think I was a man like you. That when you work for your boss, your boss says, oh, this is the best because you are working. Me, I look for life. First Samuel, First Samuel chapter 15, we'll start from verse 13. See what happened here. And Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou of the Lord, I have performed the commandments of the Lord. The Lord Jesus told Saul to go and deal with the Amalekites. Destroy all their property. Some of you are conversant with this scripture. Destroy all their property. Don't take anything from them. But see what happened. And Samuel said, verse 14, And Samuel said, What meaneth then this blessed of the sheep in my ears, and the lowing of the oxen which I hear? And Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekite, for the people spare the beast of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. And the rest we have utterly destroyed. Then Samuel said unto Saul, Stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord has said to me this night. And he said unto him, Say on. And Samuel said, When thou wast little in thy own sight, was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? And the Lord anointed thee king over Israel? And the Lord sent and the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, Go and utterly destroy. Are you are you seeing? The Lord commanded him, destroy everything. The Lord is telling you here today. All your service you are doing. If you have if you have secrets in your life, no heaven for you. All your all your service you are doing, if you are a witch, no heaven. 
All this service you are doing, you are praying, you are this. If I found sin in you, no heaven. All this anger, masturbation, pornography, all these uh, things you are put, accost things you are secretly putting on your body. Some of you will be putting on perfume. Some of you are saying, I know my own order is well. You are still putting some things on your body secretly. The Lord is telling you, destroy all those things. But some of you are still hiding your heart or something. Confess your sin. You are hiding witchcraft. You are hiding secrecy, immorality. You are falling, but you are hiding it as a woman, as a sister. You have done some two, three sins, but you hide it. If I say it, they will remove me from my position. If I say it, hey, the whole world will laugh at me. God have mercy on me. God have mercy on me. See what, see what, see what God is saying. Destroy them. They say, the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they be consumed. Wherefore then, verse 19, wherefore then this, thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but this flew, fly upon the spoil, and this evil in the sight of the Lord. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord, and I have gone the way which the Lord sent me, and I have brought Agar, the king of Amalek, and I have utterly destroyed the Amalekite. You see what Saul was saying? I have obeyed the voice of God. God said I should go and destroy uh, the Amalekite. I have done it. I have destroyed it. I have even captured the king. I have done what God said. I have got done what God said. That is what some of you are saying. They say we should dress holy. The show should not put on hearing. The show should tie our head. The show should go in for chapter meeting. The show we should be doing. We should be supporting the house of God. Hey, our coordinator so we should do this. Hey, our pastor so we should do this. They say, they say, but the main thing, the obedience to the word of God. If thou love me, keep thy commandments. You are living the commandment of God. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit sin. Thou shalt not be evil. Thou shalt not be a witch. Thou shalt not, but you are, you say, hey, in all the mother soul should dress like this. All the mother soul should do like this. All the mother soul should do like this. But your own personal life, you have foxes. Sin is smelling in you. And God said, if you want to be before me, lift up holy hands, but your hands is still smelling with sin. You are sitting on something. And you are hiding under in, in, in our church. They say we should do this. In our mood, they say we should do that. Day. God said, uh, my pastor said we should do that. This um, coordinator said we should do that. Day. You are doing service and you are not keeping the, the king of kings and the Lord of lords commandments. That is what Saul was telling Samuel. I've done what God said I should do now. I've, I've brought Aga, the king of Amalek. I've utterly destroyed everything. But what about the animals? What about the things, the properties that belongs to them? But the people took of the spoil. He now pushed it to the people. Sheep and oxen. Oxen. The chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed. To sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal. Is that what God told you? The God tell you say you should bring the property of sinners to come and pray, to go and do sacrifice to him. He don't have he don't have power to produce his own sacrifice, his own animal for his sacrifice. God said, destroy everything that is in that place. Sheep, house, human being, destroy everything that belongs to the Amalek, the Amalekites. And some verse 22, and someone said. Has the Lord as great delight in bonds of bond offering? Yeah, now you you went and was doing service. Hey, God will be happy if we do sacrifice for Him. Let gather the sheep, let gather the oxen, let go and do offering for the Lord. The Lord will be very happy. That this that is what Samuel was asking. And Samuel said, As the Lord has great delight in bond offerings and sacrifices. As in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Hear it very well. To obey is better than sacrifice. And to akin than the fat of ram. To obey God, God said, kill everything. Kill. Oh, I have, my, I have in my heart to do this for God. But God said I should destroy. It's just like that somebody say, I, I have jewelry, in, but I, I went and sold it to give to the house of God. God tell you that my house is poor. He said, destroy the accursed thing on your body. Why do you sell that, 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 that your wedding ring and use the money and eat it? Why do you have to sell those things? Why you did not destroy it? And to akin than the fat of the ram. Pay attention. Seek God in the sense of acting to what he tell you. 
Obey what he said. It's better than all this ram you are coming to sacrifice to God. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. You have some women leaders, they don't play to their hair. Some sisters in this movement, they don't play their hair. They say, no, somebody that went to heaven and come and say, God say, anybody that plate our uh, 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 hair will go to hell. The Lord said, we should not plate our hair. Even when God has told us in this movement, women, plate your hair. What he is saying in the Bible is plating the, the, the worldly way, warning the Israel women, not follow the, 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 the Palestinian people, the Egyptian women, putting gold on their head, attachment on their head, plate your natural hair, tie your hair very well. But you have some women in this ministry, they will tell you, no, that is the delicate preacher, but me, hmm, I will not plate my hair. No, me, I will not do this. Old. No, me, I will not do this. Obe disobedient children. Disobedient children. Disobedient children. He said, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. You are too stubborn to your husband. Stubborn to your leadership. Stubborn to your, to your, to your, to your women leaders. Stubborn to your sisters. Sister, this your cloth is not good. Don't wear it to chapter. Don't come to Zoom meeting again this way. You will wear it again. Sister, this cap. They have preached that we should not be putting on this car. Now God has told us about all this, our bibic flay style. I'm going to be displaying it in December conference. Because some people are still putting it on. Whatever thing you are finding behind that flay cloth, you will go and answer to God. God say, what is the excess material hanging and dazzling there? That is, that is worldly doing. I want decency. I want normal dressing. Clean dressing. Raise up your hands and somebody is seeing your armpit. Which kind of big style is that? And many women will enter into it. Even me here talking here. I didn't know that time. Every day, hey, put flay hand. Hey, make it nice. We were doing it. But God has won us. And today, I know how I'm begging tailors. Please, please moderate it. Please cut it off. Please do like this. Because when you hear the word of God, you have to fear. But I'm seeing some people are still reckless. Still putting it on. No fear. If you don't obey the commandment of God. Do all your service, all your giving. You will not enter heaven. You will not enter heaven because stubbornness is an iniquity. Because thou have rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. What is your benefit? You disobey God. You stubbornly disobey God's command. Many things he are telling us here in this movement, you go and shuffle your own. You take your own. You will do this. Some coordinator, when they go, they will teach their own. They do other things. We have been, some of them we have been hearing. We told me, I just say, God, let your will be done. You are a woman leader. You are a chapter a coordinator wife. You are a state woman leader. You are whosoever. You are a sister, a whole sister. You are a mother in this movement. But you are disobeying. People are looking at you. Ah, they say we should not do like this. See, this woman is doing the same thing. See this, see, this mom is doing the same thing. See this woman, see what he's saying. The Lord says, she not do that. See how, see how she's behaving. What is your benefit now? When you die and go to God, you stand before God, and God said, today, you are not going to be my daughter. See how Saul end up his, his kinship. God dethroned him because of stubbornness. Even what he thinks in his heart is good, to sacrifice to the Lord. But the Lord said, did I tell you? I say, destroy everything that belongs to the sinners. God is telling you, that church is not pleasing me. This place is not pleasing me. Some of you are still giving your money to satanic churches. Some of you still have some prophet and prophet that are praying for you. You are giving them money. There's a sister that was telling me in America that she have a prophetess on the line that was prophesied until you noticed that the woman was ill. I said, how can you as a sister that should give light to people? You are the one who gave me giving money from America to a prophetess in Nigeria. And we are here looking for money to build a house of God. You are sowing to the wrong ground. Oh, disobedient. And God has told us, all this money people are giving these fake pastors, you are the cause of them disobeying me. But some of you don't hear. Disobedience is a sin of witchcraft. So you see how some may end up his ministry by disobeying God's word. When God said, don't do, don't do. Please, my sisters, my, 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 my mothers in the Lord, Please don't do. When God hates this, hate it. When God say don't do, don't do. When God say do, do. 
God says, study my word. Learn to study the word of God. God say, pray is the key. Pray. God say, I love somebody that seek me. Seek the face of God. Things that will build you and God. Always love doing it. Please, have time with God. Have time with God. You cannot fast again. These are things that build your spiritual life with God. When you pray, your spiritual life, your personal relationship with God will be tightened, will be bound like this. Every time you spend time before God, you pray, you seek the face of God. Your spiritual life, your relationship with God is, is coming to closeness. It's a bond. Anytime you don't pray, one week, two weeks, one month, you see yourself getting weak. This presence of God is leaving you bit by bit. When you fast... You know more thing. You you get empowered. This thing cannot go without fasting. There are some prayer you need to pray, some command you need to do in your family, some decree you need to do. But you don't fast. You need to fast to get power. There anything the Bible have said, check it. There is power backing it up. This kind of thing cannot go without fasting. Back fasting up. If you have used prayer, 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 people have prayed for you. They say use fasting. Be fasting. Pray. Fast. Pray. Build your spiritual life. When you used to fasting, you even you yourself, you will know that your spiritual level is great. You will know that you are strong. But people fear fasting. How do you want to, to work your relationship stronger with the Lord? You don't fast. You don't pray. You don't study the word of God. You don't have time to listen to messages. You don't spend time. You look for shorter, shorter messages. You don't spend time. We thank God that, that God used daddy to do assignments because many people will not have having time. Even the books we have in Ronimo, you have some Ronimo member, they have never read any book. Maybe they will tell you, I've read this, uh, he's doing an assignment, I begin to read the book. But people have been testifying that, ah, daddy book, when I read this book, when I read this particular book, some of us, some people say, eh, let me, eh, now I want to see, but you have been in the moment before that person. You don't buy the books, you don't read it, but you buy it and give to people. We will be winning souls for God. You will be carrying people to heaven. And then you will be cast away. Paul said, God forbid. Do you want to be a scaffold in the house of God? Do you know what is scaffold? Those that know that when they are building a house, they will put some iron or wood. When they, the builders will be sitting on top of it, they are building a story building to, to, to hold the house as they are cementing or plastering. After they finish, they bring, bring down the wood. Do you want to be a scaffold in the house of God? They use the scaffold as service to build the house. After the house has finished building, they break, break the wood and throw it. Some of them will even throw it away. They, they don't have usefulness again. Please don't be a scaffold in the house of God. Be useful. Be useful. Don't be used in the house of God and then tomorrow they dump you to hell. Don't be an old wine in a new bottle. In a, in a new, a old wine in a new bottle. Change that your behavior. You have come to holiness of our movement. You have professed to be a born again Christian. We see you outside looking nice, dressing well. Please let your inside be like that. Let your inside be like that. Because some people, they are very zealous in the house of God. But their activities in, in, in secret is dangerous. They are very active in the house of God. They are givers. You can't try them in giving. They are gifted with gifts, singing, ushering, doing evangelism, preaching, visitation, all these things they know how to do, even to counsel. But their personal life is bad. Their personal life is weak with Christ. Anger of eating up their personal life. Sin is the one that breaks the relationship between man and God. I want to tell you, if sin is in your life, your personal relationship will not be strong with God. Something is hindering you between God. You think God is hearing you. You think you are closer to God. You think you are a friend to God. You think you are a daughter to God. As long as that fox is, that sin is in your life. You know that this sin is still there. Is it anger? Is it gossip? Is it envy? Is it lying tongue? You are lying so many things. You even lie to your husband. Fear will not allow you to speak the truth. You used to lie. Oh God, so the thing was not like that. And you, you lie again. Lying have taken over. Striving in the house of God. Striving. Jealousy. Impatient. Little thing. This sister has fled up. Everybody know in the movement that this sister, ah, you don't touch her. Oh. Just leave her like that. If you correct her now, she will fled up. If you tell her now this thing, if you talk to her now, 
how how and then the and people say she's a beautiful sister she know how to cook she's very friendly she can give even if you go to her house she will give you cloth anything you want but her problem is impatient but her problem my sister that name they have given you but your problem but your problem if you don't pray against that but your problem that but your problem will be the one that would land you to hell please rudeness there are some women are very rude when you are talking to people else are very nice but even to your husband you shout you are very rude word for word and they have been teaching us here some services have made you so busy there was a former woman leader here those 2013 20, 2014 2015 busy going to the mountain busy doing this but this woman we have not seen her husband she will come and tell her the husband is this the husband wants to stop her in the house of god she have make up her mind we thought that ah this woman is very rude. until one day the husband came and explained the lifestyle of this woman everybody open mouth was thinking that all the have made the wife not to have time for him because all the time the woman said we are going to pray they have called us about that we am going to the mountain i am fasting i can don't touch me i am not in the mood now now i'm fasting uh, this service but her behavior her attitude is bad some women were saying she have anger the husband is saying she's like this this one said that but when i says activities she's number one mom, mamas in all the models days she have active she don't get tired prayer you will get tired with her she's doing service but she forgot her personal life to check her life to check her behavior to check her spirit man is he righteous is he full of the holy spirit you have the spirit of dominary these are all things that you are busy taking over the house of god dominary people you are dominating people. You are the one. All, all the time you are there, you are there. People know you. But that service, when they check your life, you don't have the life. But everything you can do. Who can do this? I can do it. Who can go there? I will go there. Who can buy this? I will buy. Who can do it? You are doing this. In the choir, you are the one singing. If they don't give you, you are everywhere. But your personal life, your Christian life, to show that you are a child of God. You are zero. Zero all over hundred. Zero all over hundred. Convertiousness have destroyed your, your personal relationship with God. Slandering. You call sister this, sister this. After meeting now, you criticize. See the way that one dressed today. How did you see this one? How did you see that one? You spend time slandering people. Gossiping people. But when you come to prayer, you can't pray the way you, you are gossiping. You can't fast. You can't study the word of God. You can't listen to three, four messages a day. Even one message, you will you will listen to it how many day in the morning and in the evening. You can't finish it. So please check your life. Don't be carried away by service. God knows if I don't work, how will I support the house of God? You take five jobs. That five jobs you are taking. For money, you will not come home till eight, nine, ten. Where you come. You don't have time to pray. You don't have time to study the word of God. You don't have time. But you are busy saying, I, I took this job because in Europe we need to buy this. I, I need to support the work of God. I need to send this. I need to do this. Very good. But who told you to go and take five jobs to support the house of God? And you don't, you don't take a day off to give that day to God for your own life. Please be careful. Be careful. Be careful. God needs you more than your service. God needs you more than your service. Mark chapter 7. God needs you more than your service. I'm running up. Mark chapter 7. God needs you more than your service. Don't be deceived by your service. Don't be deceived by activities. Don't be deceived by running up and down. Don't be deceived. All these things are spices. The main food is your relationship with God. It's how you build your relationship with God through spiritual activities. You need to know God deeper. You need to know God. How can you know God? It's how you study His Word. It's how you seek His presence. It's how you have been before God. He will be telling you errors in your life. See what the Lord is saying here. Mark chapter 7 verse 6 to 9. He answered, he answered and said unto them, Well has Isaiah prophesied of you, hypocrites, as it is written, 
These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You are busy calling on God. Jesus, I love you. Oh, Father, you know how to pray. You know how to preach. You know how to do this. You are busy doing one thing or the other. But your heart is far from God. What, what is the Bible saying? You are not obeying God at all. You are only outward looking obedient child of God, but inward you are disobedient. You are not obeying God at all. How be it in vain do they worship me? Teaching for doctrines the commandment of men. You are doing all this service to get praises for men. You are all you are doing all these things. Oh, let my coordinator know I'm the best woman. So that they will give me position. Anytime they call me to you, are the first person to come up. Anytime they say this, you are there. Anytime they say give you, you give big. All this is to win the heart of men. The commandment of men. The tradition of men. Because we men, what will see you? Active, giving, doing this. We say, ah, this is the best sister. Appoint her. We have been deceived. But God see you inside that you are rotting. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye all the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other short like things ye do you wash the cup and plate outside looking the pot outside looking good but inside is not clean well you are laying aside the thing that will take you to heaven the commandment of god the obedience to the word of god you are taking it aside some purposely reject the word of god in this movement you purposely reject the word of god they will tell you do that this you don't. They will preach to you do that this. You say, ah, this way is too much. Me, I cannot do. They purposely tell you, don't marry this kind of person. You put your head and say, oh, mother, I will change the person. You purposely sin against God. The Lord said, the Lord said, when the Lord, they don't say. You purposely formulating things to bring confusion. You purposely give your heart to be in, in the movement that you, 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 you be a clique. You lie against this sister. You hate this person. You are in this group. You purposely disobey God. When God has told us we should not be in different group, we are brothers and sisters. But you, you talk to this one. You don't talk to this one. You know that malice is a sin. And, but you purposely, in your heart, that that sister, I don't want to have anything with her. And you malice her. She will greet you. And two of you know that me and this sister, we are malice. You do that. Purposely, you are malice in the movement. And you say you want to go to heaven. Hey. You say you want to go to heaven. You are disobeying God. You are disobeying God. You are disobeying God. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. Fully, you are rejecting the word of God. You are reje Just to hold your position. You have seen secret sin. You know you don't deserve to be there. One of the leaders they just removed, he was not paying tight. When he heard that those that don't pay tight will go to hell, a coordinator for more than eight years, seven years, was not paying tight in this movement. More than five years, I would say five going to sit there, was not paying tight. If not God that revealed him, all of us will not know. We respect him. But when God spoke to us and they called him, we were thinking first, no, he now said yes. He came and confessed more things that we don't even know. Some of you are there, you don't pay tight. You don't obey God's word. God says you are robbing me. You are not paying tight. You don't pay correct. You borrow God money. You trust God tight. God said, don't trust my tight. I've given you ten. That one you cannot give me. You, you eat your ten, your nine, and come and carry my one again. But you are busy singing. I'm a woman leader. I'm a coordinator wife. I'm a chapter leader. I'm a zealous sister in the house of God. But you have some bad things you are doing that you know that God don't like it. Why are you hiding it? If you know that it's a good life, why are you hiding it? Secret sin is smelling around you. And you say you want to go to heaven? Which heaven? You are keeping, you are, this, you are, you are pushing the commandment of God and putting your own commandment just to get your position. Don't waste your time. Verse 13. Making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which ye have delivered, and many short like things do ye. You are making the word of God not to grow well in Europe. Some of you are the ones sitting and making the, the, the state not to grow. Because some people, when they see that woman, they say, this lady have bad attitude. I will not join you people. If it's that woman will be there, I will not be there. If that pastor that will be there, I will not be there. 
you are making the you are making the word of God to have no effect, the movement of God not to grow well, because you have taken your tradition lifestyle. You are not doing the thing that God said we should do. The work is not growing in your state, in your units, in your place, in your state, in your country. Check yourself, women leader. Check yourself, sisters. You are busy doing evangelism, going giving giving flyers. We are not seeing the fruit. Something is wrong somewhere. God is not pleased with your service. You are busy doing service, printing books, CDs, tracks. Children of God are sponsored, giving money to do the work of God. But the person that is doing the work, you that you are going to give flyer, this that check yourself. Is all this service you are doing? Is God is pleased with your service? Is your life, your personal life, pleased with God? Is he pleased with God? Is he pleased with God? See the children of God here. What they first they take first. Second Corinthians. I'm ending here. Second Corinthians chapter eight. Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse four to five. These are the, the, the church of Macedonia. The children of God that have heard the word of God. See what they give to give attention to first. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 4. Praying us with praying us with much entreated that we will receive the gift and take upon us uh, take upon us the fellowship of the ministry to the saints. And this they did. This is Paul talking. As we hope, but first gave their own selves to the Lord. The church of Macedonia, the attitude, the behavior. They were giving gifts to Paul, the Paul, the, the ministry of Paul. They are helping the people. But the first thing first they give themselves to is to the Lord. They give themselves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. Before all this giving, you like giving to coordinator, giving to the house of God. Give yourself first to God and then give to the house of God. You like giving, you like supporting, bringing food to the house of God, free food, free cloth, free dashing, free support. You like doing this thing. But see, people that want to make heaven, the first thing they choose first, they give themselves to God first. Before they started supporting the ministry of God, ministry of that man of God, ministry of that woman of God. Please, my brother, my sister, give yourself first to the house of God. Give yourself first to the things of God, rather. To Jesus Christ, obey his commandments. Let him be pleased with you. Don't allow man to be pleased with you. Hey, I want my leader to be pleased with me. Yes, it's good for your leader to be pleased with you, yes. But the first person first you should please in this world is Jesus. And how can you please him? It's by obeying his word. It's by obeying his word. I beseech you, brethren. It's by obeying his word. I beg you, brethren, it's by obeying his word. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. I am begging you as the Lord is begging you. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be transformed. Be transformed. Renew your mind. All these things that we are doing, service to get position in the house of God. These are those things we used to do in our former Christianity. We walk, we do, we do service to gain the heart of the pastor for, for position. We, we, we dress well. We hey daddy, papa, welcome sir. So that they will love us in the church. So that they will put us in front. So that position will be in our hand. We will, we will be committing sin, but we will pretend so that they will not remove us from that position. Please be transformed. This way we are now. Those lifestyle are not helping. It will not help you. If you know you are not fit for that work, because if you don't have holiness, you cannot give out holiness. If you are not holy, that work will not grow in your hand. As a woman leader, your women are scattered under you. You are their memory. You are not happy to go to heaven. You know that you are preaching, but you are not doing it. You know that truly there's some attitude in me that is not making my women. That's why we are not together. Some are not appreciating me. Step down. Step down and get your spirit life. Get your, your, your life. Correct your life. Then the Lord will not say you are fit. Go. 
But you want to do service and you don't have life. Who will you carry? You are Pharisee. You, you are not entering. You are not allowing people to enter. Because the blind cannot lead the blind. Please. You want to save your husband. I want to bring my husband to Orimo. I want to bring my children to Orimo. I want to bring my family member to Orimo. Your family members, they have not seen the life. A woman leader, a brother was telling us, our former coordinator in one of these states in Nigeria, when we went there, I was talking to the brother. Brother, you are staying in this. Your sister, your, sister, your elder sister, the husband is a coordinator. Come to this place now you are here. She, he told somebody, he did not tell me, but he went and told somebody that. When I see my sister has been transformed, then I will know that this is the perfect place of God. Because this is my elder sister, the terrible anger she has. And see, the people live all the more. It's when they left, we now know that truly what the younger brother of coordinator wife was saying is true. Because the way they turn back and slap us, the way they were talking, the attitude, we now know that, oh, they were just pretenders. They were the born again, did not go down. No wonder the brother did not join. The family member, none of them join. Only her and her wife, uh, uh, her and her husband. So some of you go to God. Some of you know that you know that you are doing evil. You don't know. There's some behavior in you that will not bear fruit, that will not carry anybody to heaven. Some people know you more than the way you know yourself. But you are busy in service. Today, you will go to God and say, God, service second. My personal relationship, I want it to be strong. Build my personal relationship. What will I do for me to know you? I want you to draw me near. Draw me nearer to the Lord. I don't want to be far off. I don't want to follow you from behind. I want to know you. When people are talking about God, let me say, yes, I know God. When they say, I heard the voice of God, the Lord say, don't just follow open your mouth and say, hey, God is speaking to this person. Me too, let me to hear you because you are not a God for one person. I have, let me to have the designing spirit. Let me to know how you speak. I want to build my relationship to God. I want to build my relationship with Jesus. I want to build my relationship with Jesus. Please, I am pleading with you. God is pleading with you. Come closer to him so that your service will be acceptable, rewarded at the end. All this service you are doing is very good. You pray for the pastor. You support the house of God. Now you are planning to do this for the house of God. You are sending money to do crusade in your place. You are sending money to do production for books. You are blessing the evangelism department. I want to tell you, it's a blessed work you are doing. Very good heart. But all these things, if you don't make up your, your life to be perfect, you will work in vain. We are not selfish people here. I should have come here and be blessed. Oh, we want to bless all the women because we have received money from Europe, women contribution. I should have come here and be saying, we bless all the women. We have blessed you people already. I have thanked God for Europe women. They have helped us. We are able to buy chairs now. We are going to buy coolers. We are going to buy the, oh. But I'm telling you, we are not selfish Christians here. We are not wicked leaders. Because if we don't tell you the truth, tomorrow, You'll be saying, hey, Mommy Linda, Dadidika, Pastor Bright, all that, they were just receiving our money, blessing us. They were not telling us the word that will take us to heaven. I am telling you today, don't only sponsor the house of God and you don't sponsor your life. Sponsor your life by prayer, by retreat with God, by reading the word of God, by building your spiritual man, by studying the word of God. Seek the face of God regularly. Have time with God. Cut down on your services. Cut down your job time. Have time for God. God is the one that blessed, not your hard work. Some people are in Europe, they don't work, but God make a way for them. They don't work, they don't have 10 jobs, 5 jobs, 6 jobs, they have only one job. But God is blessing them. What we want now is God, not riches and whatever. Please, today, let your service be limited. And let your commitment to God will be increased. Because when you are filled with the word of God, when you know Jesus, your service will be powerful. Europe will be shaken. When you kneel down to pray, witches and wizards in your house, in the chapter, in the state, they will be running. They will be fearing you. Something will be happening in Europe. The way will be open. When you go out to give evangelists, doing evangelism, when you give the track, the track you give paper, but power will be going with it because you are filled with the power of God. When all this oppression attack will be seen, they will flee. So that you can make impact for God. So that your service will bear much fruit. You will do greater thing. Even Jesus that was on earth, when he's going up and down doing the work of God, sometimes he will retrieve. We saw it in the Bible. He will go and pray. 
to refill himself, get power from God. But you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you don't pray. When they now gather people to pray, now if we say prayer, you see some people be doing that. They father. You can't pray. You are weak. You are weak. But when you say talk now, give comments, you see some people will talk five minutes. Some will talk 30 minutes. They are just giving comments. They are just exalting. But call prayer, they cannot pray. Say fasting. That is the time some of them will tell you that I have ulcer 1967. Doctor have told me I should not be fasting like that. But they are leaders. They can't fast. They can't pray. When you say all night prayer, some, some are not coming. They don't pray. They kill all those things. If you don't love these spiritual things, you will not have contact with God. It's not sweeting. People are sleeping, you are fasting. People are, are, are eating, you are fasting. People are sleeping, you are praying. Regularly, your life is like that. He's looking somehow, but my sister, do it. That is how you will get stronger. That is how you get God will get closer to you. That is how your family will be solid. That is how Satan will not turn you to twin steel because when he touch anywhere he call your name, only your name, fire will support will come there. That is how people will not toast you through and fro. Somebody will not backslide and come and say something about your father or your, your ministry or this, and you just follow. That is how you will not be deceived. Because before somebody lead, carry you away, you will pray, God, who is this person? What is this? Is it true? Because you have used to God. When you, as you ask, the Lord will send a word. But you don't have time with God. You don't follow God. How will you want to make this heaven? So please, I'm running up. I've run up now. Let's close our eyes. Are you sure your service is too much? Truly, you are talking to God. Your spiritual life is dry. Your spiritual life is dry. Your relationship with God is less. Truly, you don't have time with God. When I mean time with God, not that, hey, but we go for chapter meeting. Yes, these are assemblies of the brethren. We are coming together before God. God is talking about me and you. It's just like when you say, um, my husband used to sleep in the house now, but I want my husband time. People say, but you, woman, your husband is sleeping in the house. Well, why? The woman know what she meant. I want my husband time. He wants one and one husband. Let go inside room. Not any other thing, but let joke. Let Have my time. Let me see you. You are sleeping in the house all the time. Yes, I see my husband all the time. But the woman is still saying, I need my husband time. The husband is saying, I need my wife time. But you, you will not understand. Say, ah, is this woman sleeping out of her house? The husband knows what he means. That is what Jesus is telling you. Yes, you go for chapter meeting. You are now on Zoom meeting. Iron sharpened iron. You are laughing together. You pray together. You study the word of God. You read your Bible do together. All, uh, doing assignment. But do more than assignment. If assignment is one hour prayer, have your own personal prayer with God. Have your own personal study with God. Have your own personal meeting with God. Have your own personal retreat with God. So let go before the Lord in prayer. Begin to ask the Lord for mercy. If your service has been more than your time with God, because it will shock you. Many believers will cry on that day, and I know. Oh, and I know. God, and I know. Many pastors will cry that day and say, God, and I know. I was busy being a missionary, just going up and down from one nation to another, spreading the good news. Truly, I was not having time to seek God. How is my life? Oh, I never know Satan have creeped into my life. Small, small foxes was in my life. But I was busy with work. I was busy. I was. Bu I, was I have been carried away by the way people praise God in my mouth. Oh, pastor, you know how to preach. Oh, pastor, through you have known the Lord. Oh, pastor, we thank God for you. You have been carried away by the praises of man. But you never go and see God and say, God, am I still well? Please, my sister, take time to ask God. Father, is, am I, is my name is still in the book of life. God, am I pleasing? Are you happy with me? <laughs> are you happy with me because of service? What about my personal life? God, are you happy with me? God, please don't be quiet because he will sit as God and look at you. You will run and come and land before him. Please begin to ask God. Father, show me mercy. Father, show me mercy. Father, show me mercy. Lord, my relationship truly with you is not solid. Oh God, you are a jealous God. I've, been, I've left you just like a mother. Left the child for morning till evening. You are the nanny. is the one having time with the, with the baby. And when the baby grew up, it's the nanny the baby will know. And now you begin to say, my baby don't know me. Oh, the baby will not come to love you because mommy don't have time with me. All the time mommy is busy. All the time daddy is busy. Begin to ask God for mercy. 
tell Jesus, Father, show me mercy. Oh, God, have mercy. Truly, my personal life, my personal relationship with Jesus is lacking. Truly, is not strong. It's not firm. Truly, my life, oh, God, service 24 hours before internet. Oh, I'm answering call. I'm counseling. I am walking on the road. I'm, pray I'm talking to somebody. Early morning, my phone will start ringing. I am settling matter. I thought all this thing I'm doing is good. I, Lord, I know it's good, but I don't have time to pray. I don't have time to seek God for my own life. I don't have time to examine my own life before you. Oh, Holy Spirit, show me mercy. Please take it serious. Take it serious. Pray and ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Tell the Lord, say, God, today I need a fresh oil, fresh anointing, fresh power to connect with you. Fresh power to build up my spiritual life, my personal life, because the Bible says salvation is personal. Salvation is personal. All these people you are winning for Christ, you are saving their soul, you are sending, giving the good news, even your family member, your children, they will not attach to you to say we are going together to heaven. Your own is personal. Your daughter's salvation is personal. Your husband's salvation is personal. Everybody's salvation is personal. So tell the Lord, Lord, I beg you, God give me second chance build my relationship with you open your mouth and pray take it very serious take it very serious lord help us oh lord help your daughters oh lord help your daughters oh lord jesus help us in hurry more increase our personal relationship with you our activities for you personal activities life with christ than service god help us not to be doing service all the time and we forget to take care of our vineyard oh god help us help us oh lord jesus save our soul in this ministry save our souls oh god jesus do not allow us to be dumb oh god do not allow us to be deceived, oh God, by activities, by work, oh Lord. And at the end, oh Lord, we don't have time to build our spirit. We don't have time to feed our spirit, soul, uh, our body. We don't have time to, to feed ourselves. We are busy feeding people with the world. We are busy helping people with the world. We are busy taking care of people to stand. We are busy showing concern to people to not to fall, not to backslide. But look at us. We are drying. We are getting lean. Our soul is getting lean because we are not have time to feed it jesus have mercy on us jesus have mercy on us jesus have mercy on us in the name of jesus oh lord in jesus name we pray please let's raise up our hands and sing this song i'm happy to see our pastor is in our midst let's raise up on our hands and sing this song with all your heart our sisters i want you to raise up your hands with all your heart if you can cry cry it's better you cry here than you go and cry in hell with all your service and the lord say i don't know you depart from me what a painful depart what a painful hard work going day begin to tell the lord as we sing this song with all your heart sanctify me lord Purify me, Lord, make me holy, Lord, make me an image of you, Jesus, sanctify me, Lord, purify me, Lord, make me holy, Lord, make me an image of you. You make Hester an image of you. You make Mary an image of you. You make Paul an image of you. You make Moses an image of you. Lord, I want to be an image of you. Jesus, I want to be an image. Holy Spirit, I want to be an image of you. Oh, sanctify us, Lord. Purify us, O oh Lord. Make us holy. Jesus, make us an image of you. Jesus, sanctify us, Lord. Purify us, Lord. Make 
Jesus only. Jesus make us an image of you. You made these disciples an image of you. You made Ruth an image of you. You make Elijah an image of you. Lord, I want to be an image of you Jesus I want to be an image I don't want to miss heaven Lord an image of you Lord I don't to be an image of you when you are happy when you are the image of God you will do what God said you will follow God. You will obey Him. Tell the Lord, I want to be an image of you. I want at my generation, this our generation, I should be like Martha. I should be like Mary. I should be like Paul. I should be like Peter. That they never turn back. They follow what you say. They committed themselves to you. They do their service with their life. They do it with, with holiness. They did not do service without holiness. Their life were holy and they're able to please God. Oh God, help me, Lord. Let me don't be a service doer and not a holy doer. Father, let me be a holy child of God so that my service will be accepted. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, Father, save me, Lord. Let me be a doer of your word. Let me be a doer of your word. Let me be a doer of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray and say, God, any other devil has deceived you. Any other devil has deceived us. Any distraction that have eaten up our personal life. Oh God today. Lord rectify the problem in my life. If it's too much of job. If it's idleness. If it's busy life. I don't know where it's coming from. Any spell that is working over me. That have eaten up my personal life. Eating up my spiritual life. Eating up my personal relationship with God. Let those spell. Let those power. Let those distraction today. I come against it in Jesus name. Any other devil has blind your eyes. You are doing service more than your spiritual life. Let the Lord open your eyes to those things today. Let the Lord cut it off, O oh Lord. Any other Satan have closed you. Any other devil has deceived you. Any other witches and wizard have deceived you. By works, O oh Lord, they have released a spell upon you. You are busy working. You are busy working, but your spiritual life is dry. Let the Lord intervene today. Go before the Lord and say, Lord, intervene in my spiritual life. Intervene in my home, O oh Lord. Intervene in my life, O oh Lord. I don't want to know in vain. I don't want to be called a child of God on earth. And when I die, I will be cast away. Hey, Jesus, show me mercy. Father, show me mercy. Father, show me mercy. Holy Spirit, show me mercy. Do not allow me to walk in vain. Don't allow me to serve in vain. Don't allow me to know you in vain, O oh Lord Jesus. Hey, Lord, have mercy on my, my soul. Lord, have mercy on my soul. Oh, Jesus, truly many Christians are doing like that. We do service more than your work, O oh Lord. We don't have time. We postpone prayer. We postpone fasting just to go and do one thing or the other. Hey, Father, show us mercy, Lord. Father, show us mercy, Lord. We busy taking care of people. We busy taking care of people, but we don't take care of ourselves. My Lord, have mercy on us. Father, have mercy on us. Father, have mercy on us. We run out of our house in the morning to go and do work one, one to one another. Papa, Lord, we pray, have mercy. We're supposed to seek you first. Anything we do, we should put you first. Before we leave your house, we should pray to you. Before we sleep, we should pray. Father, we should start the week with you. We should end the week with you. We should start everything with you. Hey, God, show us mercy. Father, have mercy upon us, O Lord. Hold this spirit, have mercy upon us, O Lord. We're supposed to know the word of God. We're supposed to read the word of God. We're supposed to study the word of God as if we are going for an exam. But we don't have time to study the word of God. We study assignment. We study other things. We study jobs, works, O Lord. Hey, Father, we study our books for education. To get certificate, to get job and get money. But we don't study the book of God. Hey, Father, show us mercy, O Lord. Help us to begin to have personal time with God. To study our word of God. To study the word of God. Help us to study the word of God. Help us to know you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, help us. Jesus, help us. Jesus, help us. Jesus, help us. Holy Spirit, help us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you want the Lord, you want to rededicate your life again to God, 
You want to tell the Lord you are sorry that you are going to take a new turn. You are going to do something new. God is me and you now. Everything I put you first. If you want that power, you want the Lord to see you, they want the Lord to recognize you and say, okay, I'm starting a new covenant with you. Raise up your hand wherever you are. Let me pray for you. You are taking a new step in your life today. Your Christian life is going to be deeper with God. It's going to be solid with Jesus. You are going to do more service with God. That the Lord is the one giving you the power to do the service now. You are going to have more time with God. Raise up your hands as I pray for you. Everlasting Father, we want to thank you for today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Father, you love us so much in this movement. You gave us a revelation one week ago that said, Tell my children, not only this hero brethren. You told that Erika, prepare my children. Tell them to have personal life more than service. Their personal life to be solid than their service. I've seen many are going too much into service. It is a good thing, but let them have my personal time. Let them have time with me. Lord, we pray. Many Christians are doomed and some are on their way. Many, they don't know this. They're busy doing service, but their personal life is rotting. They don't know you. They don't know what they are doing is sin because they don't have time to seek your face. They don't have time to ask you questions. But Lord, you love us in hurry more. You have told us. Lord, your children are here. Some are guilty. They don't have time to seek you. They don't have time to ask you questions. They don't have time to seek their life, to examine their life. But Lord, today they say they are sorry. Lord, have mercy upon them. Jesus, have mercy upon them. Oh, God, you are a God of second chance. Oh, Lord, you say, call upon me in the days of trouble, and I will answer you. Lord, they are in trouble. They have sinned against you. Now they know that, God, they don't want to end up their, 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 their rulership. They don't want to end up their, 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 their daughterhood with God, like Saul, like King Saul, that disobey you, and the kingship ended because of disobedience. Lord, I pray, show them second, give them second chance. Show them your mercy. Have mercy upon them, O oh Lord. God, renew your covenant with them. Bring them closer, O oh God. Let them be true child of God, true daughter of Zion. Father, from today, let their relationship, their personal relationship, be so greater. Let them know you deeper, not know you by the side. Let them know God. When you speak, let them know. Let them spend more time with you. Let them know your Word. Father, take them deeper in your word. Let the relationship be sweet between you and them. Let them begin to feel the presence of God. Let them begin to see things turning around. Let them begin to know things that they don't know before. Let them begin to see the error in their life because when they come before the light, every darkness in their life will be, will be revealed. Let them know every darkness in their life. As they come before the light, Father, let their light, let their life shine, oh God. God, draw them closer. Delete their name from the book of death. Write their name in the book of life. Show them mercy, oh God. Use them, oh Lord, in, a, in the point of contact that others will follow them. Lord, transform their life. Lord, draw them closer. Let from today, let their relationship with you be stronger. Let their spending time with you be stronger. Let them enjoy your presence. As others are enjoying your presence, Father, let them enjoy your presence. Give them testimony from today. Anytime they gather, let them see a change in their life. Let them see that Truly, God, it is good to have personal time with God than wasting time on other things. Other things are just secondary. But the main thing for Christians to make heaven is your personal relationship with Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray as they are going into that covenant to have personal time with you, Lord, as they are beginning to seek you, Lord, make yourself to be found to them. Make them to see you. Make them to know you. And Lord, may you bless them. Embrace them, O oh Lord. Let them feel the hand of God upon their body. Let them sense the Lord in their houses. Let them sense the presence of God around them anywhere they go. Jesus, thank you for baiting them. Thank you for receiving them. Thank you for giving them a second chance. Thank you, Lord, for loving them. Thank you, Lord, for starting a new contract with them. And thank you for giving them the grace that, Lord, they will not be weary. They will not faint, oh God. As they start their prayer life, their fasting life, study the word of God, going for retreats, spending time with God, alone with God, Jesus, may they never stop. 
may they continue. May their prayer life take another level. May their study in the word of God take another level. May their understanding take another level. May the wisdom of God increase in them. May the power of God come upon them. Jesus, mark them with your blood. From today, people will know they are blessed. People will know they are children of God. People will know that truly this woman has been transformed. Lord, every foxes in their life, every bad attitude, any evil lifestyle in them that have hindered God not to move in their life, in their family, answer their prayer. Lord, I pray, let that bad attitude disappear today. Let that sin disappear today. Let that power be broken in them today. Lord, I pray, let them be called children of God. Let their prayer be answered from today. Jesus, I thank you. As they have known why many things is happening in their life, it's because they don't have time with you. Lord, as they come before you, let all their problems disappear. Let all their sorrow disappear. Let all their trials end, oh God. Let them begin to rejoice. Let them see the liberty of God. Let them know why the Bible says the Prince of Peace. Give them peace in their marriage. Give them peace in their heart. Peace in their body. Peace in everything they are praying for peace for. Lord, let them have peace in their nation. Peace between their family members. Lord, I thank you for answering my prayer. I hand them over to you. Take over them. Cover them with your blood. Draw them closer. We thank you for the women in Europe. Thank you for Mommy Leslie. Thank you for Pastor Bright. Lord, thank you for all the women leaders, the coordinators and their wives there. Lord, reward them, bless them. For all these things they are doing, iron sharpening iron, coming together to reverse the, to rewind themselves with the Lord, the word of God, to carry themselves before you. Lord, I say, Lord, as they are doing this, may their work never go in vain. Reward them greatly. Bless the women in Europe. Reward their husbands. Father, bring those husbands that have been crying, their daughters have been crying to you. Show them mercy. Answer their prayer. Bring their husband, bring their children. Father, wipe their tears. Those that are sick, I pray for healing over their body. Let there be instantaneous healing. Healing. Let the hand of God rest upon them. As they have known, they have to have special time with you. Father, as they start coming before you, let them see the power move in their body. Every sickness will disappear. Every oppression will stop. Satan will flee from today in their life and family. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Father, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. Bless the women in Europe. Provide for them. They have support. They send support. For your conference, Lord, you have received the money with thanksgiving. Your servant is using it in a good way. And your ministry, your movement is growing well. Father, may you reward all of them that supported that, this conference. All of them that contributed their money. Big or small, Father, reward all of them, even to children. Father, reward their family. Reward all of them in Jesus' name. Reward them greatly in the name of Jesus. Reward them greatly in the name of Jesus. Father, bless them. At the end, all this, their service, Lord, may you not go in vain. Make them to be holy. Because the Bible says without holiness, they will not see you in heaven. Father, give them holiness. You say holiness is a gift. Righteousness is a gift. You give it to a man. Father, give them the righteousness gift. Let them have the gift of righteousness. That no wind, no doctrine, no demon, no witch, no wizard will carry them away from your presence. Make them to be solid in holiness. Make them to be solid in righteousness. Make them to stand firm till you come. Father, bless them, O oh God. Show them mercy and love them. From today, let them begin to testify all their prayer points will be answered. Let your favor rest upon them. As we dispart, we dispart in your glory. Jesus, rest upon us. Bless us, O Lord. Those that will be coming, Father, bring them safely from Europe for this conference. And those that will be continue the conference, joining us on Zoom, may they receive their blessing abundantly. Thank you, Father, for everything. Keep us well. Bless the movement. Bless Europe. Bless Pastor Bright. Continue to use him greatly. Continue to bless him. Continue to uphold him. Continue to guide him. Do not allow him to walk in vain. Father, bless him. Cover him with your blood and the wife and the children and all others that are supporting him. Father, reward them greatly. Let our hero brethren, many of them will make heaven. Those that are not serious, that are agents of darkness, Father, cut them off from Europe. Remove them from all remote worldwide. Those that are children of God, Father, um, uphold them, bless them, increase them, and bring new people to join them. Father, we bless you. Thank you for this meeting. Take all the glory, take all the honor. Let your name be glorified. If you are coming this week, this month, Father, Lord, give us heaven. Show us mercy and let your name be glorified forever. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, 
production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.